Okay, here's my Austin Halleck muzzle loader I got <clears throat> a couple months ago. Um, there's a, a big gap here between there and the breech plug. That's a breech plug that I made. Here's the factory breech plug. It has slots in it and a spring to kind of help hold the primer in place. Um, they did this so it would be Colorado legal. Uh, Colorado has to have an open ignition, so that's how they got around that. Um, problem is when you discharge this gun, all the gas comes out of these slots in the firing or in the breech plug, blows off and comes back in your face. I didn't like that, so I built a nose piece for the gun, first of all, to go over. Fits on the face of the bolt, goes over the uh, breech plug, catches all the gases so they don't blow out in your face. Um, what I don't like is any pressure that comes back through the gun, comes back through the bolt, and this bolt handle, as you can see, there are no locking lugs on the nose of that bolt. It's just smooth. The handle is all that holds this bolt in the gun. And it is just soldered onto the bolt body. So if that solder joint breaks, which there's high likelihood of it breaking, if you've got a, a pretty hot load or you overcharge it or something, there's a good chance that solder joint breaks and that bolt comes out of the back of the gun. So I ordered a piece of stainless, got it machined um, for a threaded nose piece that will guide the firing pin. Um, I left a shoulder on it that matches the thickness and diameter of that section of the bolt there that goes into this pocket. Going through our end backwards. Um, maybe, there we go. It just locks into that slot in the receiver. Um, and that'll keep the bolt from coming off out of the gun. So I need to make a handle. <laughs> I'll weld it to this flange and it doesn't matter if the handle breaks off because this flange this shoulder is what's holding the bolt in um, so anyway I'll copy this handle and then weld it to there and then I've got to put these tracks in the bolt this is a guide to keep the bolt straight um, this slot allows you to open and close it over the trigger sear and this little ball detent that's up in here actually is what that slot is for. The trigger sear engages the back side of the hammer. When the hammer's in the bolt in the gun, it hits against the sear on that little shoulder right there. So when you pull the trigger, it allows the hammer to slam up in through the bolt, pushing the firing pin, set the gun off. So I've got this pocket here, I've got a machine into it. This little detent here, that when this thing, when you cock it, it clicks into that little pocket there, little, that little dimple, and keeps it in the cock position as you draw it out of the gun. Um, if it were sitting on this ramp, it would just slide forward as you cock the gun. So it needs to keep it back. So as you slide it back up into the gun, it stays back until it engages the trigger sear. And then that takes the weight off of the, off of the bolt, puts it all on the hammer. And yeah. So anyway, I've still got a little bit of machining to do to this thing. Got to build a nose piece, got to build a new firing pin. Um, that one's not going to work. Plus, I want to keep all the original parts to the gun intact. So, just if I decide to sell it or this ends up not working out, the gun's still usable. So, anyway, that's what I've been working on. And I'm going to continue to work on it until I get it finished. I've got several hours into it already. I'm gonna have some videos on YouTube. They're not ready yet, um, but I've been filming as I've been building this thing, 
filming all the steps. I got to get it to Mike Peck, who's awesome at editing video software or videos. He's got some software to edit and he's, he's done some neat stuff. So anyway, he said he would edit this stuff for me so I can put it on, on YouTube and not look like an idiot. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll put a, I'll let everybody know when that's available on YouTube if anybody wants to watch it. Maybe this just bores all of you to death, but I'm pretty excited about it. And I'm pretty uh, impressed with what you can do with a lathe and a mill. So now that I got all the time into this part, hopefully I don't make a wrong turn with a handle and screw this up. Um, you have to be really careful doing all that. So anyway, that's what I've been working on if anybody was ever interested.